Hello and welcome to my first ever Maya tutorial. My name is Alex and I will be showing you how to model a flower of some sort. This is my first one so God knows how long this is going to take. First of all we'll go to open file I mean save scene as desktop name it flower. I'm not going to set projects, projects or anything like that after this because it's important that you always save so now we've set that click on the create polygons <coughs> cube press free just to check it and then press R scale it up first of all I'm going to create the petal or the basis of the petal this is all just off my head so each time I do this it's a new design you want to make it thinner <coughs> something like that then you want to go to edit mesh insert edge loops then go to the edit box select how many you want to put I'm going to do multiple edge loops I'm going to select <coughs> four along the width and then I'm going to change it and put two for all of the height or the breadth and then along this area we shall put one it's important that you imagine what the leaf will look like in polygon form <coughs> so when this is smoothed <coughs> it looks like that <coughs> so the next thing we're going to do <coughs> excuse me start to scale this so I'm selecting these and I'll start to scale probably along this way would be best to start off with small scaling Make sure you select all the vertex. Just smooth it to check what it looks like. It's important that you put lots of bands around here so you've got good control along the depth of the leaf. But only one really one band around here that I've found because it keeps it smooth enough, not too hard. Double click the edge in edge mode and you can then scale it outwards or inwards depending on your style. Go back, press 1 on the numpad if you want to keep on editing it in polygon mode. I've gone into edge mode. I'm just going to select these and push them down a tiny bit. Back to object mode. Select it. Smooth it with free smooth number 3. Just a basic leaf shape. I'm going to take off this grid because it's extremely annoying so there we go our next step will be to bend this only a basic leaf shape you can do more to it so it's like a the, the flow of the curve is working quite well but it depends on how I want the rest to be really you can do whatever you want really to it anything like that. This is the inside because the edges we've brought the edge down whereas this side it's flat. So the next one we're going to do is save it, so it will S and then we want to bend it so we have to use a deformer of some sort. So go up here and go to animations then you want to go to create deformers non-linear and bend. This cre creates the bend bar or bend handle press E we're going to rotate it as you can see to the right rotating the X to minus 90 and then we're going to rotate in the Z rotate Z minus 90 so it bends the correct way that which we want it to bend then in, under imports imports go to bend 1 click on curvature and use the middle mouse button within this window to bend it as you can see You 
can also click on the bar, press W and just move it. So you get the bend you want for the sort of flower you want. There's the start of it for me, but the next thing I'm going to do is try to add another here and bend it again. To do that, we need to then take the form that is created, Ctrl D, W, move it across. Keep that one there, doesn't really matter. And create another bend deformer. <coughs> Ctrl S. Ctrl S now. Here's the next bend deformer, press W, move it across. Move it quite close, depending on how close it is, is the how strong the effect will be on it, so pretty close. Try to put it in the same angle of which it, the geometry is flowing, something like that. Now I'm going to do check the curvature now and you'll see that it's probably messed up, so it's going to bend it the opposite way. So I'm probably going to rotate this. In the like that. Curvature again, and you can see how it's moving. <coughs> the geometry is following this side of the curve, and this one is as well, which we don't want. So, W again. Move it up and outwards so it's got less of an effect. Curvature. Bend it some more. You see what's happening? That is nearly how we want it. I'm just gonna, <coughs> just gonna rotate as he weapons, maybe not. No. That'll probably do. Ctrl G again. Ctrl D, yeah. Delete these ones. Not needed. Click it and press F to scale, to scale into it. Rotate it. F. I'm going to bring back the grid now because I'm losing where I am. There we go. That's much better. Center pivot point. Roughly in the middle of the grid. Sitchel G, if you want to move it like that. I've lost a bit, but... It goes a little bit off there, but it seems fine. It'll make it more non-linear, so... You can always do different editing to each leaf after, or petal. So there's the basis of it. There's one, so then we click it, Citral D, so we've duplicated it, keep it where it is, Citral G, so it's <coughs> grouped to the centre point, R, um, E, move it within the, rotating the Y, around about n minus 90 or 90, depend, doesn't really matter, we get something like that so far, we don't want them touching, so, Citral G, And it's just a case of making sense of the situation. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. It just depends on your style and for me it's how, how it turns out. I'm not, I don't have a plan, so if I had a plan, this would be much better. <coughs>